back to another episode of Growing Wild Farm and Garden, a beekeeping video. We are unfortunately being ravaged by wax moths. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So those are actually two boxes that came off of one of my hives that I was trying to rescue and unfortunately didn't rescue. Um, so Bravo Hive, you guys have heard me talk about Alpha and Bravo and Bravo Hive got infested probably by a box that I ended up with from a friend. Um, I froze the frames, but I didn't have room to freeze the box and for some reason in my head, if I froze the frames, I was fine put the box on as a honey super and boom, it's all it took. And Bravo Hive is now basically dying. Um, I have one frame of bees. I am attempting today to see if I can find the queen, if they have it still, if they haven't just swarmed off and um, completely just left whatever bees were left. Um, if I can find the queen, we're gonna put her in a nuke box with the one frame of bees that are left and hopefully convince them to walk into a nuke box um, that I have. Um, it is not contaminated and I'm not going to take the frame that they are currently on to put it in because I don't want to have the same problem. So we're just going to try and find the queen, grab her in a queen catcher, which I have here. Doo -doo -doo. No, I dropped it. Of course I did. Here's my queen catcher going to put her in here with a couple of bees to help keep her healthy, um, feed her and whatnot. And we're going to put her in the nuke box, put the nuke box next to the frame. I'm going to take the frame out um, and hopefully convince them to walk in to the nuke box without bringing the contamination of wax moths with them. So this is my last chance, to, excuse me, to really save them. Um, if they don't have a queen, the only other real chance that I would have is to give them another frame from Alpha Hive, which I'll show you is doing fine. In fact, they're probably the ones robbing out that brood box and maybe even Bravo Hive right now. They're just going nuts. <sighs> the problem with that though is that I don't know how to get the bees off the frame they're on without a queen you can't really convince them to move without that. And I'm not shaking those bees off because I don't want to accidentally take any wax moth larvae or eggs or anything with them. And so if I can't find a queen today, I'm just gonna have to let them die, which sucks. I've tried convincing another hive to take over some bees that were left over from a swarm and it didn't really go well. Um, they didn't want to assimilate. So that would be the only other option. And that's where we are today. They were super docile yesterday <clears throat> when I got into them. Pardon me with all of my throat noises. I've got something stuck in my throat, I guess. Flea hold there. No, yes, maybe. I'm trying to get my tripod to sit still. It does not want to. Okay, it's a little wonky, but it'll work, right? Hi girls. Let's see what you look like today. Okay. So let's look. I'll let you see what I'm dealing with. They're a mess. And what I did yesterday was I took one frame off to the side by itself and left these frames off over here, hoping I could get the queen to come to this frame so that I could find her easier. There are so many worms. Fucking wax moths. Anyway, so my goal is to try and take this frame and find the queen 
and then capture her. So, I'm gonna get my queen catcher ready, set it right there so I can get to it, and I'm gonna pull this frame out and hope she's on here. See, the only reason I think they still have a queen is they're docile and they're not acting really angry, which is one way to know that you've lost a queen. But there are no eggs. There are no babies of any stage. Take this frame. If they weren't dealing with this problem, I would just take this frame and hope she was on it and move them. Trying not to crush anybody. See, there's enough of them still left. I could put them in a nuke and they could get started over. That's two good frames of bees. I don't want her hiding either, so I guess I should take this one out. Just set it over here. It's not got any bees on it. As a beekeeper, I'm really sad by this. I, you know, um, a lot of people think they're just insects and, you know, a lot of people are scared of them. But as any sort of livestock caretaker, I mean, you don't want them to be hurt. See, there's more damage. That's the sliminess. That's... I might even be hive beetles, to be honest. Coming in on a weekend hive. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure that's hive beetles. They do the slimy mess. Just disgusting. Just disgusting. Rob away. Go ahead. God. It's just terrible. I'm so sad right now. I'm gonna look back at these frames one more time. If I can't find her, I'm just gonna button everything up and let them die because there's really no good option here. So when you look for a queen, you're supposed to go around the outside of the frame and then work your way in. And I've found queens before. It's a little difficult, but it's doable. I have so much sweat dripping off of me right now. For those playing at home, I'll put the temperature and humidity up. The temperature is a lot nicer than normal, but uh, the humidity is what's killing me. Oh, that humidity, man. Okay, ladies, please, tell me your queen is on this frame. I'm not sure what to do at this point, man. I can't find a queen. They can't go back in this box. It is purely just, it is a gross mess. I'm gonna have to burn it, and freeze the frames. We're actually, after this whole situation, we're considering getting a deep freezer, a chest deep freezer specifically for boxes and frames. Because generally my, my whole process is to actually um, freeze the frames in the freezer, our food freezer right now. I put it in a plastic bag and freeze about five at a time and leave them in there for weeks, if not months, because I forget that they're there. And that's what I've been doing with frames that sit empty for too long outside. Mm -hmm. And that's been working. But when I got that new equipment from my friend, and it was a box, it was a super, I just put it on there in the summer thinking, okay, they need more room, and I have this new box now. And unfortunately, I doomed them. 
because who knows how many worms and eggs and whatever were on that box. I'm still looking for the queen as I'm sitting here. I've set the frames right in front of me. And I'm kind of hoping they'll give me an indication of where she is. And sometimes you can find her because there's a group of bees around her, her little entourage that helps keep her clean and fed. And I'm looking for that too, and I'm just not seeing her. I don't want them to die. Like, you don't get into beekeeping or any sort of keeping to watch your animals or your livestock die. And I just never had problems with wax moths before in all the years I've been doing this so far. I knew it was inevitable, of course. But this is solidly disappointing. What's gonna probably happen is they're gonna get robbed to death. They have no babies. I could give them a frame, but they're gonna be in a box that's overrun by pests. And I'm just gonna have to come back to an empty box and then do my best to freeze it and burn it and deal with it. A day later and this is what we're still dealing with. Just the girls are taking whatever they can from everything. And it just looks awful. I'm pulling the frames out of this box because I noticed that the heat uh, actually kills these worms pretty dang good pretty quickly. Um, it's not as hot today, unfortunately, but it's hot enough that they don't like it, so I'm hoping it'll help kill some more of them. And then I'm going to be doing something in the yard that uh, hopefully will prevent hive beetles from pupating in the ground. Maybe nematodes. I haven't decided yet. But that's the update. Another update, guys. It's been at least a week. Uh, we went on vacation. We're back. And I'm looking at Bravo Hive. Bees are still coming and going from the hive. Have I opened her? No. Why? I'm afraid she's going to be hostile. By she, I mean the whole hive. Alpha's still doing amazing. Gave him a little piece of watermelon. So here's the deal. Uh, came home. I had left that brood box in the uh, yard. Uh, with the heat, with the sun, with everything, I had separated each frame as best I could because I noticed that the sun, the heat, uh, overwhelmed the worms. Um, and not sure it did a whole lot of good. Uh, the robbing had stopped. Um, there's no robbing on Bravo Hive currently right now. It seems like all the frames that I had left out here are clear. Um, problem is, I don't know what is going on in Bravo Hive. You can see we're down to one brood box. I had left those two frames with bees. Uh, there might have been maybe three. But what I did is I left two frames. I left these three out here. That one is empty. This one's melted to crazy. Um, I just wanted to kill everything that I could. Uh, the, like I said, there are still bees coming and going. I haven't seen any pollen, which means no baby bees. Um, could be that they're just, they're still dying. Could mean I'm super lucky and they're rebuilding. This is a great video for the beginners, for the people that don't know what they're doing, don't know what they're looking for. Anyway guys, hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, keep me keeping, keep gardening. We'll talk to you later. Bye guys.